Hello drum lovers, this is Lee the drum from Carrier Towers coming to you with a few drum heads in my hand. I'm going to explain why I've got these and also why have I got this. Very liquid, although other products are available. Okay, just to let you know. I'm, I'm not sponsored by Fairy Liquid, obviously. Nor Evans, this is just my take on something that I like very much and I'll explain the reasons why I like it. So, I have tried out from Evans the product that is called Evans UV1s. I've actually used UV2s, okay? UV1 meaning one ply, one thickness of plastic. UV2 meaning it's twin ply, just in case you weren't aware of that. So give you an example, if you look at a product like that called an EC2, okay? Other brands have their versions of it as well. You will notice there is a little bit of rainbow colour appearing. That's because it's the condensation that goes between the drum heads gets trapped. And it creates this beautiful rainbow colour. A lot of people think it's oil. It's not. It's just simply the process of condensating of any dampness that is on the inside. So that's that. And that is two plies on there. It gives you a darker or deeper tone. So a lot of people use these on their toms. Uh, ones on snare drums quite often and two plies on their toms. So that's besides the point of this video, just a little bit of something in case you didn't know. So why am I showing you a UV one and why am I talking about them and saying why I like them and uh, compared to a G1 for an example there or a clear ply. Now, I'm a little OCD with, with things. Look, I've even put a brand spanky new shirt on for you this morning, then realised that I, I hadn't iron, ironed it, so my wife is not going to be very happy with me, let me tell you. She'll be saying, look at the state of that shirt. So anyway, I like things clean, tidy, I'm, I'm finicky like that. What I don't understand sometimes is, with drummers, we love sparkles on drums, we love all the chrome to be nice, we love the snares to look like really pretty and all the rest of it. And then we shove drum heads on and very soon they start getting looking dirty and manky and they're horrible. So often we find in the shop, we'll leave the shop there, that boys will come in and replace their drum heads because they've all gone to look a bit horrible. They peel in, they're a bit bleh. So that's why I wanted to discuss this product because I tried out the UV2s on this drum kit that I'm going to be using for live work. And what I discovered is... I thought I'd give them a try. I never even thought about it. I thought, what's this thing about these UV1s and UV2s then? Let me give it a little try. So I shoved them on, and what I found was, I was hitting and hitting and hitting them, playing away, diddly 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 ding 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 as you do. And as I'm playing more and more and more, they stayed clean. They didn't mark. Whereas whenever I've used coated, predominantly on a snare, traditional coated, from whatever brand, they mark really quickly. Notice they start to, to pit, sometimes they can crack, sometimes they peel. And you notice the centre of them literally just comes away and you've got a clear ply in the middle and all coated around the outside. And I hate that because I like the drums to look clean all the way around. So if I pick you up, I'll show you what I mean by keeping them clean and tidy. So look, this is a kit that I'm using. It was re-sprayed by Lee the Spray next door. Drum kit was cut down, so it's 2240. And look, there's a little bit of dust on there now, and even that, I can't, I'm like, ah! Oh. So I want to keep it clean and tidy. Look at the chrome, look at it, it's beautiful. And in the night, the sparkles, when the lights hit that kit, go boom, and they explode. She's all pretty along here. And then you come and sit at the kit, and look, the drum heads are clean. And whoops, I'm just touching a cymbal as I lift that up there. Look, they're all clean. However, you'll notice already my snare drum is looking pretty dirty. So I used to clean them all the time. I'm going to flick you around again, sorry about that. So I used to clean them, always clean and clean and clean in my drum heads. But of course then you're, you're sort of removing a little bit of the, the spray paint that they use all the time. So I tried these UV2s and I found, as I said, I was just playing and playing and playing them. I tried them on two different kits, one in studio, one here, and they just didn't mark. And I was like, wow. Now it's worth it for me for that because I can keep the kit really pristine. However, does the sound, um, is the sound any better or any worse? What I found is at first when I looked at them, I was a little bit like, hmm, don't know about these. I'm not sure that they feel as nice as say the EC2 would feel because I think they feel really nice on the kit. 
Uh, but once I put them on and settled them in, I don't tune like many people say. Oh, I just tune my drums like this. Da, 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 da. I just get them on there, work them in a little bit. I don't overstretch them, don't do any of that. I put them on and then I play it for a while. And then what I do is I go back over it again and then I'll play it again and go back over again. To me, drum heads a little bit like a pair of shoes. When you have brand new shoes, you have to work them in and then they become super comfortable. That's how I do my drums, by the way. Okay, so that's a side point. So I just noticed that as I was doing it and then tweaking them, the sound started to become really pretty. I really liked them. And then I got a couple of microphones on there. That become really nice as well. Everybody that's come in the shop has gone, wow, that's a really lovely sound on that kit. And I thought, right, it's great. And it stayed clean. And what I found was if I put a little damp cloth, a little squirt of fairy on the damp cloth itself, and then I rubbed it around, they come up creme de la creme again. So I can keep them clean. Now this is interesting because the technology they used, I'm going to mention to you on the UV2s. But first of all, they tested the UV2s by like a drummer, say with his right hand, a thousand hits, left hand, a thousand hits, and they took them off. And what they found is that the process that they were using for the UV2, this is just a general test, they did notice it had longevity on the drum head. And what happens often with drum heads, when you play and play and play them, as I said, the center tends to peel away. I'll explain all of this now, how they make each type of drum head. So the center starts to peel away, looks horrible, but also you notice that if ever you undo the tension rods, quite often then you notice the center of the drum head is sort of collapsed in. What's happened is it's stretched to the max, the scent has gone softer, the coating is worn, and then it just collapses and it's no good. And what they found by doing the process and the plastic they use on the UV2s and UV1s, they just found by default, by experimenting, that when they detuned it, they stayed flat. Now that's a good sign for anybody who's a drummer because you know then that drum head is lasting and it's staying in form as opposed to uh, you need to stretch it more and more to keep it in form. And I've seen drum heads doing that as well. But customers coming in say, look, I've got a problem with my drum and I just can't get it to work. And what's happened, they've stretched so much down that this part of the drum head here, instead of being that size, has ended up, it's almost down there. Because at the end of the day, these are made of plastic mylar or other DuPont or something. So there's a few brands that are used for these. And then they just get stretched and stretched and stretched all the way down and then they maxed out and then they collapse. Now, how do they make the drum head in the way of coating versus clear? And what's my issue with clear? I absolutely love clear drum heads, by the way. If I put clear drum heads on a dark kit like that, I think they look fantastic. And when you tap them, they glisten in the light and if you've got lights on, they reflect and I, and I really like that. It's almost like a little disco underneath you. I really like it. However, all uh, plastic heads, at the end of the day, when you're hitting them, the tip of the stick is only small. So you've got this abrasive little baby being smacked against there and it's not healthy, is it? So what happens is it doesn't take long and even clear drum heads start to look a little bit grubby and horrible. So as much as I love them, I hate the fact that they don't stay clean for that long. All, all of them are the same. Evans produce, the same as everybody else, a coated finish. A lot of people like coated drum heads because there's a little bit more of a darker tone to them. Um, I think, again, mine sometimes is very hard, especially in a live setting. You would never know if someone's using clear, uh, coated, twin ply or whatever. You wouldn't really know. It's down to how the uh, drum tech has worked on them to get the sound they want. But there is a difference. Um, it's very small, but there is a difference because as I mentioned, you're going from uh, say one skin of 10 mil to spray on top, takes it to 12, maybe 13 mils. So you are adding that little more of a thickness and a lot of people then like the tone of the clear, sorry, of the coated white drum heads. So what do they do? They make a drum head exactly like that, always as standard. As a sideline, what does level 360 mean on Evans drum heads? Hear the birds? So level 360 with a uh, drum head 
is the way that they bond the glue and the way that they guarantee that the, the drum head settles. So 360 degrees of the drum head will settle nicely onto the shell. And that's what they have developed. So that's what they make a claim on. Okay, so that's that. However, from our point of view, they make a drum head, they make it, glue it like they have here to make sure that nothing ever peels or pulls off from there. So that's what they do. And then if they want coated, they shove it on the conveyor belt. Do liddy 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 as it comes through the conveyor belt, the spray gun comes out. Oh, and there's two ways of spraying, wet or dry. So you can have a wet spray, which is quite a messy old job, as you, you would can imagine, or a dry spray, and even that can be very messy. And could there be better ways for the environment than spraying drum heads? Well, we're going to discuss that in a second now. And if you notice, when they spray, if I come right in, you can see that the spray doesn't just sit on the top of the head. It goes all over, even down onto the aluminium, all the way around. And that's common with all of them because the spray is all the way around. Then once it's sprayed, it's got to go into the oven and it's got to be baked on. However, what they discovered, they experimented with a different type of a film. And instead of spraying it on, the film is made like a drum head, and there's a particular process, so they can bring it along and they stick it on the top. And when it goes under an ultraviolet, uh, ultraviolet light, it reacts and it sticks and it locks on and you cannot get that off. It's really, really good. And by doing that, what it means is they haven't got a spray lock all over the edge and down onto the aluminium. You see that it finishes there. So it's a clear drum head, with an extra piece on there, ultraviolet light and wallop. It's a bit better for the environment because you're not spraying, there's not a lot of wastage, there's not a lot of things to do with the air and all the rest. So it's, it's, it's better in that respect. It's also better in fairness to them because it does last longer. They feel that that can last two to three times longer than that. Now, if Evans were a brand new company and they brought out that drumhead, a UV2, and said, our drumhead lasts longer than all the other drumheads in the world, then you could say, yeah, but that's a market employee because that's your drumhead versus theirs. The reason I believe that Evans are true to their word, that this is a better process and they last longer and they give good tone, is because they already make this. So what they're doing by saying how good this is, in some respects, is condemning their own product. Do you understand what I mean? So what they're saying is if you want a traditional sprayed coating, we'll do it for you. But actually, if you want this new product that we believe is better, then you can do that as well. So you've got choice. So they are marketing almost against their own product. And then I believe what they are saying. They're not just making a claim against everyone else. They're making a claim against themselves. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. So, for me, the main reason why I think you should have a think of UV2s or UV1s. You haven't got to. Don't forget, you may, you may not. Uh, Evans may not be your brand. It may be some, some other brand. I don't, I don't uh, come on my videos to condemn any brands. There are other brands out there and they're all very, very good. I don't have an issue. Uh, we, have, we sell in our shop here, Remo, Code Drumheads, Evans Drumheads. They are the three main. We used to do Aquarium, but the distribution all went a bit pear-shaped, so it ended up being too, too much of a hassle, although Aquariums were very good drumheads. So we used to sell three to four products that we give people choice. So it isn't that I'm promoting something that I sell only, I can supply either or. But I do believe that the product of going away from a dry or wet spray into a process of ultraviolet on a new film on the top, I do think that that is actually a really good idea. The thickness of that takes it from, say, if it's a one ply, 10 mils, just to 11 mils. It's, it's thinner than spraying. But the big thing for me, as I mentioned, is that that lasts for ages it stays clean for ages and you don't get this movement or splitting and the center of the, the, the sprayed part, the center of the coating all coming away. There's nothing I think looks more ugly than drum heads that are all in bits on somebody's drum kit. So give them a try. 
All the videos that I will be putting out as Lee the Drum and you hear some little ideas or whatever, at this current time, until such further notice, will be all via the Evans heads. There's Evans on the front at this moment in time. Let me have a little scanter down with you. So we've got the Evans Beer EQ3 on the front. Okay, I put a little kick port, but I cut my kick port down because I put a microphone in there. I shortened it so that it doesn't uh, have too much problem for the microphone. I just do all these various things for customers to see. I've got Evans G1s underneath, standard G1s. I didn't put the UVs in there, it didn't really matter. But already you can see, look, it's got a little bit of grubbiness to it. You find that if your hands have got a tiny bit of dirt on them, after playing a gig or whatever, and you touch the drum heads, coated, it sticks. It's just the dirt sticks. If you had some oil on your hands, you've had your chips. But these have been played and played and played. There's a couple of little marks, but I know I can wash them out pretty quick. As I said, in the comparison to that, granted, I play the snare more than I might play the toms. However, I do use the toms a lot. So that may be changed over to a UV1 uh, soon as well for me to test that out as well. So give them a try. They're really, really nice. All of them, as I said, will be Evans until uh, such time in the future I may want to try other products. So this is what's going out there at the moment and, and obviously the old Evans uh, EMAD on the back, which is always a fantastic drum head. Okay, so I hope that's informative. I'm just trying to put videos out for you that are not just about playing, but also about products and things that you can, you can use. And Lee, the shop as well, is going to talk products and different things. Uh, so if you like coated drum heads, give them a shot. You can find them on www.carriadrumshop.com if you wish, or go to your local, go to your local drum shop and uh, buy them from there because they are competitive with anything internet. It's not that like internet's one price and your shop is another price. No, no, they should. All Everybody's pretty much balanced out at the moment. Okay, so take care. Over and out. Lee the, sp Lee the spray, I mean, he said. Oh, no. Who am I? Lee the sh No, I'm not Lee the shop. Lee the drum. Over and out. Lee the drum. Take care.